All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and preview the cap list. That makes me laugh a little bit. Cap. So cap basically means to take or seize. So like seize, we mean like seize something. So hold on to it and take it away. So first one here is capable. Hopefully you have heard of that before. Capable means that you are able to do things. So having the ability to able to do something. Okay. Um, a lot of times if there is a student who is maybe a super smart kiddo, but they're not doing their work very often, you'll hear a teacher say, oh, they're very capable. We're just not seeing the work produced to warrant the grades that we think they would deserve. But they're very capable, meaning they can do it. They're just choosing not to. All right, the next one here is capacity. Capacity is probably one that you guys have heard several times, especially through the pandemic. Um, I'll say that right there because um, a lot of places you're not allowed to have over a certain capacity. So it's how many are allowed in. So like if you go to a restaurant and it says that the maximum capacity is 50 people and if you're number 52 to walk through the door, you're probably not going to be seated because they got to keep the sizes smaller. Uh, next one is capitalize. This is not big letters. This is a different kind of capitalize, okay? So we're not talking about making a letter big, you know, like a letter, the letter I or anything like that, the beginning of a sentence. We're talking about taking advantage of something or making the most of something, okay? So if I were going to say that, um, let's say that all of a sudden we had two snow days in a row, right? Believe me, we'd all be doing cartwheels, right? But if you had two um, snow days in a row, I might capitalize on that time off and make sure I get some cleaning done around my house because I actually have the opportunity to do it. So I would make the most of having those days off and try to get as much done as I possibly could. So it's making the most of something. Next one, this is a boat word. I'm gonna put a little picture of a boat here so you remember this is a boat word usually. Um, if a boat flips over so that this rounded part here is on the top of the water, that means it has capsized or flipped over, okay? Next one here is caption. You guys should know this. Um, this is a text feature that we have studied in the past in other grade levels, I'm sure. This is basically just the words that come underneath a picture in text, okay? So words under or to the side picture in text. Next one is capture. Um, you guys play capture the flag sometimes in wellness, uh, which basically means that you are taking the flag away from somebody else. So I'm gonna put that as a reminder because I know you guys have played that and it helps you remember that it means to take their flag away. So capture, take possession or control of something. Um, it, the next is decapitate. This means off with your head it's like the uh queen of hearts uh off with your head so decapitate d meaning un or taking it away and then cap being the top the tape all right then we've got encapsulate this just means to encase or protect to surround so, so i want you to think about like a pill okay i don't know if you guys have ever seen like a capsule, a medicine pill. A lot of times they're like two little pieces of like, they're not really plastic, but they seem like plastic that go together and then there's powder inside of those, right? So um, I want you to think of medicine or a time capsule because basically it just means that there it is that there is something surrounding. It also could be like an M&M. Okay? An M&M has a chocolate inside and a candy coating outside, so that candy coating oops, candy coating 
is encapsulating. Ooh, I bet I can't spell that either. There we go, I would have made it at you. Okay, encapsulating the chocolate. Mm. Next is escape. Hopefully you know what that is. Basically to leave, to get free. And then the last one is a pretty hard one. This is recapitulate. 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 Okay. And that just means basically to kind of summarize something. So if you were, um, let's say that your mom or dad or somebody was sitting there and they were really just riding your behind and they were telling you what you had done wrong and they were like rah 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 lecturing you you know whatever usually at the end of a long lecture from a parent they usually say you know so in the end and they summarize whatever they were trying to tell you so um I know that that's a really bad example as I'm saying it I'm like well that was kind of dumb but basically it just means that if you've heard something and you're gonna take all of the main ideas that you've just heard, all of the main points, and you're gonna restate them for the purpose of kind of summarizing everything you had just heard right there. That means recapitulate, and it's a verb. So you, you would recapitulate the information that you had just heard, okay? So go ahead, guys, make sure you study for these. Um, I would say probably your most difficult ones are recapitulate, um, probably capitalize because it's not actually just making a letter big, and maybe even encapsulate. That one's a little strange too. Um, but hopefully this will help you out. You guys can get these learned and you will do well on your test. Good luck, my dear friends. I love you. Mwah.